Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel Inkit Designs. Want to know how I created this? So let's get started. Select a logo and add auto layout. Now fix the width to 190 and height to 732. Now let's add another auto layout to the logo to add some paddings. Make sure it is changed into fill container and also make sure it is aligned to the left. Adjust the padding and spacing around the logo. Let's set the round corners to 10. Now add the hamburger menu inside the frame. Make sure to first change it into outline stroke. Drag the hamburger menu and put it inside the frame. Make sure the elements are aligned to center and let's move the hamburger to the right. Now let's duplicate the frame and let's make a button template. Draw a rectangle, delete fill and add stroke. Select drag to copy to make the set of rectangle. Now change the corners to one point and stroke to 1.5 and change the fill to white. Now select and change it into outline strokes and Ctrl E to convert it into a vector. Now write the text. Align the text with the icon and apply auto layout and make sure to center align it. After adding fill to the button template, we will change its width to fixed width of 156 and fixed height of 35. Adjust the padding and align every element to the left. Draw a rectangle and change it into fill container so that the notification moves to the extreme left. Make sure to decrease its opacity to zero. Now we will delete everything from this frame and place the button inside this frame. Make sure to center align it.
Now copy the button and create a new page and place the copied button on the new page. Create outline strokes for all of the icons. Let's create a section. Change the background to blue. Name it icons. Now option drag to duplicate this icon. And put this icon inside the icon section. We want all of these of same height so grab all and fix the height. Now take the dashboard icon, option and drag to duplicate it, rename and put in the icon and delete the dashboard icon. Do this until all of your icon is set. Now select all and create multiple components. Now let's work on the button template. Shift S to make the section and again change the background to blue. Put the button template inside. I want this button a component and have some options we can swap in and out. So let's delete that icon and go to assets and drag an icon into my button. Now adjust the padding. Turn it into a component and let's make these editable. Click on your icon and change the property to instant swap. Add all of the icons we can swap it out with. Click on the text and change it into a component property. And to toggle on and off the notification, create a boolean property. Now create a variant button, name it default open and drop the opacity to 0. Name the second as hover open. Now we will add another variant as we have to work a collapsed version. In this variant, Click on the text and turn off the visibility. Now delete the notification. Change the width 
to hug and change the opacity to zero. Create another variant and call it closed hover and decrease the opacity to 50. Now let's prototype it. We will cut this video short and will continue with making a collapsible slider animation in part 2. If you like this tutorial, just like, comment and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will come up with more exciting videos. Stay connected.